Hi everyone and welcome to today's video. Today, it's gonna be a fun one. It's gonna be a fun one today. I asked you guys on Instagram through Insta stories whether this idea, I don't know, interested you, interested any of you. Um, and a lot of you, surprisingly, a lot of you said yes, like you were really on board with this. As you can see from the title, I'm gonna be wearing two different concealers underneath the eyes. These are both like some of my go-to concealers. So for this series, I am gonna be putting two concealers to the test that I like. So um, today we are going with my Pat McGrath Labs and the Hourglass Vanish Concealer. So I'm gonna be wearing both of these under each eye or one under each eye for the entire day so that you can get a better idea of which one you like underneath the eyes just based on how they wear on me. I like them both. I get asked pretty frequently to choose between two different concealers, whether that be like the Tarte Shape Tape or this one, or do I like the Boing Cakeless over the Tarte Shape Tape, stuff like that. And so I figured, you know what? Sometimes I can't decide and sometimes I can't really give you a true definitive answer because I like them both and so instead I'll just show you how they wear and then you guys can make your decision based off of that. Sound good? Now I do have reviews on both of these concealers in case you're wanting a more detailed description on either. Today I'm simply going to be covering the cost, the shade range, and of course the finish. So we're gonna start off with the Hourglass Vanish Airbrush Concealer. This retails for 34 US dollars and you can find it in 22 different shades. It is meant to be full coverage and it has a natural finish. I have the shade Beach, which is pretty neutral. Looks like that. Now the Pat McGrath retails for 32 US dollars. It comes in 36 different shades. It too is meant to be full coverage with a natural finish. I have the shade LM11, which is a bit more yellow than the Hourglass, as you can see. I wear both of these concealers with my Becca Under Eye Brightening Corrector. This one is in the shade Medium to Deep. Sometimes I will wear my Pat McGrath with like my Charlotte Tilbury um, Corrector. That works fine. I also wear my Hourglass uh, Concealer with my Live Tinted Corrector sometimes. That works fine, but I really like it. I like both of these paired with this particular corrector. So I'm gonna just apply a little bit of this corrector underneath the eyes in order to just neutralize the under eye area. And just a thin layer is all you need. I feel like when I just skip out on a corrector, whatever type of corrector, I never get full coverage out of like any concealer really. The only one that truly does conceal completely without a corrector is the Kevin Aquan Sensual Skin Enhancer. However, I cannot get that concealer to work the entire day. I can't get it to stay put the entire day. It always just moves around, it creases, it separates. It just does not look good. And I've tried it five different times, guys. Five different times, can't get it to work. So that one, I think I'm only gonna be using whenever I am going to be applying the Jackie Ina concealer technique under the eyes, you know? Like if I'm gonna be doing that where I'm layering up three different concealers, then I'll use that as a corrector. <laughs> All right, so we're done with the corrector portion of this. Now I'm going to apply foundation and I'll be right back. All right, so we're done with foundation. Let's conceal. I think I'm gonna wear my Pat McGrath over here on the right and I'll wear the Hourglass on the left. Let's start off with just a few dots of this. That's what I love about these concealers too, these two in particular, is that you don't need a lot of product at all to get full coverage. Like you really don't. I literally only use four dots of this and four dots of the Pat McGrath, and that's all you need. That's all I need, at least. So I'm gonna apply just a dot here, dot here, dot here, and a dot there. And now the Pat McGrath, same areas, pretty much. Dot there, dot here, and a dot there. All right, now that that is done, I'm gonna start off over on the Pat McGrath side, just blending this out, you see that? You don't need a lot at all. And to blend it out, I'm using my Real Techniques Deluxe Crease Brush. I love this for concealers, liquid concealers especially. All right, so there it is, one side done, completely concealed. See that? All right, now moving on to the left side. All 
All right, so Hourglass, Pat McGrath. Now I'm going to be setting it with my Pat McGrath, what is it called? The Blurring Undry Powder, which is broken and I still have not been able to purchase a new one. Like the medium shade, which is the one that I have, it's been out of stock for weeks now, maybe months. I don't know, it's been out of stock for a while. That is what it looks like. So just taking some of that powder with my tapered highlighter brush from Sigma Beauty, this is the F35, and just patting it along the under eye area. All right, so everything is done, everything is set. Now let me zoom you in so that you can get a closer look underneath both eye areas. All right, so there it is. This is the hourglass side, and this is the Pat McGrath side. All right, so I'm gonna finish my makeup, and I'll be right back. All right, so I'm back, makeup is done. It is currently 1041. I do plan on wearing these two concealers all day long so that you can see what they were like for an entire day, like side by side. Um, and instead of doing my midday check-in here in my filming room, I'm actually gonna be doing it out in my car. I do plan on running an errand and I do have to be out for like about an hour and it's gonna be around my midday check-in time. So I figured that I would show you guys what this looks like in natural lighting. So I'll see you guys in my car in a few hours for my midday check-in. All right, so I'm in my car. Uh, this is the under eye area after four hours because it's 2.56 right now. So I've had these on for four hours. This is the Pat McGrath and the Hourglass. Still looking really good, completely concealing. Haven't, completely concealing. Haven't moved around. Um, so yeah, I'll continue to wear these for another four hours. So I'll see you all back home at the end of the day. All right, so I'm back home for my final check-in. It is currently, oh, it's seven o'clock on the dot. So I've had these concealers on for about eight and a half hours, something like that, I, I think, I'm pretty sure. It's been a solid eight for sure, maybe a little bit more. All right, so now it's time to bring you all in nice and close so that you can get a better look under the eye area after eight hours of wear. All right, so this is the under eye area after a little over eight hours. This is the Pat McGrath side. And this is the hourglass side. So that's the under eye area after an entire day. Personally, I think I like this one a little bit more than this one, especially now that I'm seeing them side by side, just because this looks a little more concealed than this now that it's the end of the day. I feel like I lost a little tiny bit of coverage because this was as concealed as this side at the beginning of the day. And now it just, it looks a little tiny bit darker. Overall, these are really nice formulas. They wear really comfortably underneath the eyes. You don't need a lot of product in order to completely conceal your under eye darkness. And they tend to last all day. Although, like I said, I just feel like this one looks a little better than this one, just a little bit. So that completes today's video. Thank you all so much for watching. I truly hope that you enjoyed today's not so much product review, but a product comparison and that you found it helpful. Hopefully this helps you determine which one of these two concealers you'd like to purchase in the future. Let me know down below which two concealers you'd like to see in this series. Make sure that you leave that down below or make sure that you follow me over on Instagram if you haven't done so already. Um, I'd love to interact with you guys over there, especially when I'm kind of on the fence as far as like, do I review this one or do I review this one? You guys really help me out. So make sure you follow me over there if you haven't done so already. And yeah, that'll help me determine which concealers are gonna be next. So really hope you enjoyed today's video. As always, take care and I will see you all in my next video. Mwah. Bye. Bye.